let's create a variation manually today. So what are we going to do? We're going to create a family listing, means one product and multiple sub colors or sizes or quantities, whatever there is, for you, uh, within Amazon. There's no flat file involved today. So if you're scared of Excel shades, stay tuned. This is for you. Um, there is a few things that you may need to start this whole thing. If you have a brand, then hopefully you're already brand registered. You probably bought UPC barcodes from Genius One. If you don't have a brand, then you will need to go for generic and you most likely need to get um, a G10 exemption. I did two videos about that on how to create a dummy listing with UPC codes and how to create one with generic. So go and have a look at that. In this case, I'm going to use today just generic and um, just a G10 exemption just to keep it a bit simple because sometimes there are flex and errors, which is a bit annoying to show you in a video. However, if you encounter any issues, don't lose heart. This happens. Just redo it. You can't break Amazon. Just delete, redo it. I've done a lot of videos where something went wrong, so I'd show you how to fix it. Or and I wrote a lot of blog posts as well. So stay tuned and like and subscribe. Okay, so here we go. We're adding a product that's not on Amazon. What does it mean? If you're selling this hand cream, then it's probably already there. But if you're selling this hand cream in a set of three, or maybe with a nail file, or maybe with some gloves, you created your own little bundle, or you're creating a hand cream, which is very similar, but it actually has your own name on there, whatever it's called, I don't know, Handy Zen or something, then um, this is your product and it's new. So I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. And then we click in here. I'll make myself a bit smaller. And now we're choosing our category. I have already have some G10 exemptions, so I'm going to choose something in hmm, probably an office product. I think I have a G10 exemption for office products. Yep. And now I am going to be very easy. I'm just going to go to office supplies because I like that. And I might go to paper, pens. I like pens kind of. We have pens. <laughs> If you don't know what to choose, you can, no, we don't want to go there. We just want to go here, pencil, maybe pencil set. Here we go. Woodlet pencil. And I'm going to offer them in different colors. Although actually I'm going to offer them in different quantities, like a set of six and a set of 12. That's what I'm going to do. i got colored pencils. Here we go. That's what I need to do. And then you can see, because I have a product, um, um, a G10 exemption, which means I don't need to put this this ID in here, like the super long 12 digit or 13 digit number that I bought from GS1. Um, that's why this one is empty. So you don't need to do anything with that. And then now this is super crucial. The first thing you need to do when you want to create a variation, we're actually creating this old one. If you're creating a product listing, like let's say now you're creating a set of six, then it's actually done. Then you need to restart the whole thing, which means you have to create another listing, which will be the parent. You sit on top of it. It's a bit complicated. So that's why I like to do it straight away. So what you do, you go to offer. First thing you do, because as soon as you click here, variation, let's go here, then this is gone. That's it. There you have no chance to change that. So we go here, we say, no, nope, I don't have anything. And then you go to offer. Why? Because you want to change the SKU. This is not red, so it means you don't have to put anything in there. Amazon will give you a number, but that's a really stupid number. It's going to be like TX minus 5345XWZ. Um, it's like something really ridiculous. It doesn't tell you anything. SKUs are essential for inventory management. I do have a SKU generator if you need help with that. I just click on my website, you'll find it there. Otherwise, in this case, I'm just going to call this really simple. So it's going to be my color pencil set and I'm going to call it parent because this is my parent and now I'm going to uh, my variations so I'm going to call this and sometimes you see that there is not many options and sometimes you can't combine things so let's say I got size and then you can see I can do size and color but let's say I do color. Can I do anything else now? Can I do number of items? Yeah, see, if you do number of items, then you can't choose color as well. You know, like, what does it mean? Let's say you're selling like um, um, these pencil cases in 
green and blue and but they all come in just sets of six and twelve but then it's just one color so you couldn't do the combination of having sets of six and twelve but also half blue and green if that's the case you would have one listing for all your blue ones one listing for all your green ones and then offer the different sizes or you offer um, the different sets of six twelve and things but then no other colors right so you have different listings and then it needs to be quite smart sometimes you can do things like style name and combine it so for example you could name the style set of six and then have a sneak and say color as well so you need to just try and test this a bit this is actually easier to find out on here even if you want to use a flat file so watch my video about the flat file if you're not sure what's possible so sometimes like i said it's not possible right then you can come in here and just see what's actually available some categories don't have any variations available for whatever reason but um this one is so let's just say i just keep it no i don't keep it simple i'm gonna show you how i would do that and i got these two so i got my colors i got um hmm. I'm not gonna, I'm calling this, yes, so I'm selling them all individually. So my colors are uh, red, I add that, and green. Oh, so you want to write this all the same, because this is actually customers can see that, how it's written. So, and blue, and obviously you can add as many as you want, and then I have my set, I have um, six pack oops a six pack and I have a three pack right so that's maybe what people need they need if they're, if they're teachers they're probably like um, a six pack of set of red pencils and then you can see this is the combinations you get so if you say oh I'm not actually offering um, uh, the blue in and uh, as a three pack you can just delete that or you can just create it now but have it there for later, right? So then you have a few other bits and pieces. So you just give this a skew. You maybe call it again, color pencil, pen, blue, and then three, right? And you go for the same for all the other ones you call this color. So that's kind of like a pen. Set green. And that's also a three pack. Cool. So you fill all this in and I do like to name it that way because if you have little images or for your own inventory management file, which I hope hopefully you do, you want to have be able to see this straight away on here and not having to read through the whole description or having the images and stuff in there. So uh, the ID, we don't need to fill in because we have an exemption. Now we go for new and our price is, I don't know, just $9.99. This is in Canada, so it doesn't really matter too much. And we just have one. And that's it. We make all these changes. No, it doesn't let me do that. Okay, well, then we have to just type this in here. Ah, I wish sometimes it was easier. But it's not. Oh, it's good. It gives me opportunity to talk more. And here, I'm just going to copy. And paste that. Okay, so that's done here. We'll take that out because it doesn't want. And now up here we got the vital information. So we still gotta go back here. And this is we're just gonna call this um, pencil set um, one color. Doesn't matter. And my brand is here. I don't have a brand. Also it's done. And then here you can call this the same as your skew. So just call it parent color pencil and it doesn't matter. It's just for number of items. How many are in there is actually just one. And the manufacturer, this is your brand. So in my case, that's Candy Online. So that's my brand. And then I save this. Right, so you don't need to fill anything else in. So what do we create now? We created in this very moment, What if we click save, we're going to have created a parent with two variations. I show you, it's it's like magic. It's like you you can't even grasp it. And obviously, if you have a lot, a lot of variations, you can do that. But now here's the thing why I'm still a big fan of the flat file. 
if you have to make any changes, so we obviously haven't added any bullet points, any um, um, descriptions, any photos, nothing. So you would have to go now, and we're going to see this in a second. Let me just kind of load this here. Takes a little, takes a little. Awesome. So it sometimes takes a little. Um, this doesn't actually take too long, just like five minutes or so, depending on, on how many you create and when. And sometimes there's glitches and everything. So what happened now is we got our variation with our six variations. I thought it was two, but now I have six of a thing. Um, because we obviously created all these green three and red three and red six and stuff like that. So you can see here, they're actually active. So you could buy them. Then I would have a little bit of an issue because I don't have them. Why are they active? Because I added available one. And I got here merchant, um, so somebody could buy them now. So don't don't go and do it. Uh, you see, I have no image. I obviously have nothing else in here. My price is really cheap. So that's how you create them. And now that's what I meant before. That's why the um, a flat file is so great. So when you go into your individual listing, you can see there's nothing. It's a very sad listing. Right? It's, I have no image. I have nothing. It's just really cheap, and um, it's. I don't even have the buy box because I have nothing in there. So nothing is there. So if you wanted to add now images and you still scared of the flood farm, then you have to go in here and add everything individually. So you have to come in here. Um, you want to maybe enter your quantity or you want to change that. You want to enter your maximum order quantity. You want to maybe see if that's gift messages. Yes or no. You have to enter or uh, upload all your images, all your descriptions all your keywords and all your details. So it's quite a lot. And you have to do this for all your six variations. And if there's ever things, anything, something wrong, you have to remember which one was it that I didn't add the description or that I forgot a bullet point. And it's just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And if you want to make a change, copy, paste, copy. That's why it's so exhausting. And that's why I'm a big, big fan of the flat bar. Even when you create this from scratch, like now would be the moment where you say, okay, look, I've got all these, I got the ASINs, I got the things. So now I just get my flat file and fill in all the other information, like all my bullet points or my images, upload everything. And then it's done once. And if you ever want to make any changes, like, uh, for example, on the bullet points or you found new keywords and you want to add them into your back end or upload new images, then you can do this very quickly through the flat file instead of having to go into every single one of them. But this is how you do it. I think it's very simple. Um, again, you can't break anything. The only thing you need to be quite clear about first, you need to be a bit tricky when it comes to the combination that you may have. Um, certain combinations are not possible, but just just think about um, clothing is very, very, very complicated because you obviously have different sizes, different colors and maybe different fabrics. So then sometimes Amazon won't let you do that. You have to create different listings and have to make a decision of what's my main feature that maybe actually makes sense because it talks to a different audience. So, for example, if you have pink and uh, blue T-shirts, instead of offering them in pink and blue on all colors and different fabrics or different prints or whatever, you may want to say, OK, I target the blue ones in one listing and the pink ones in another listing have the different prints, which is a style and then the different colors. And then one will target the boys or the uh, has boy keywords in there and the other one has the girl keywords in there if that's what you want to do. So be a bit smart about that. And you need to have a little bit of a structure. So how many do you actually have? Um, the worst thing that can happen is that you start this and then you feel like, oh, did I forget that? Did I do that? And then you can always add variations. So even if you now realize, oh, I actually have also a black one, then you can't change that in here because as you can see in this one, there's no variations here. You can't do anything. You have to go to the parent and then you have to go here up to the parent, click on edit there and go to variations. And then you see the variations that you chose and then you can add another color. So if you had now, let's say a gold and um, a three pack and you have a gold three pack which is now here, a gold three pack. And then obviously you can't save it again until you edit those information. So that's how you could add stuff later on. But again, keep in mind all whatever you else need to know, you need to then copy and paste. So adding things with a flat file is also very good. So watch the video about it anyhow. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Like and subscribe.